So I finally got to go see The Forever Purge, which I've been trying to get to for days now, but it did not come to my town, so I actually had to drive up to another city, which was about 45 minutes away from here to go see it. Now, I ha I just rewatched all the Purge movies. I have seen both seasons of the television series, and I am definitely a Purge fan, so I was looking forward to this, <clears throat> and as usual, as usual, James DeMonaco was writing this, uh, this film as he does with anything involved with this franchise. They haven't had a single entry in either film or in television that hasn't been overseen by him uh, in charge of the writing. Um, so this is definitely his franchise. And I watched some of the trailer, but not all of it. Um, from what I did watch of the trailer... I definitely got the impression of a different film than I got here, for sure. I thought that this film was going to be very small scale. Um, that this was going to take place in a, like, kind of a smaller town, one location kind of thing. Not one location like the first movie, where it's just set in a house, but like one, one little small town. So I thought was going to happen was that there was going to be this small town out in the middle of nowhere where everyone decided that was purgers, that fuck it, we killed the sheriff, you know, we're not stopping the purge. We're just going to continue on through today and tomorrow and whatever until we've killed every fucking person in town. We are just purging and no one can stop us. We're out in the middle of nowhere, whatever. That is not what happens in this film at all. This is much bigger scale. In fact, this... Is probably the biggest scale uh, in the Purge franchise as of yet. Um, now, supposedly, this is supposed to be the last one. Bullshit, they'll make another one uh, at some point. Give it five years, give it ten years, whatever. It'll be back for sure. Um, but this one is more about uh, the entire country deciding after the Purge ends that they're not going to stop that they are going to continue with the purge forever after and that they are going to cleanse this country of uh, all of the filth and all of what's wrong with it and of course everyone has a different idea of this and this and that here's what I'll say about the pur this purge specifically because I know there's kind of some uh, people up in arms about political agenda or social commentaries or this and that. If you're five films into this franchise and two seasons of a TV show into this franchise and you haven't noticed any of these things yet, you're an idiot. Now, I will say though, this one is a tad more heavy handed with its political satire um you know its message what it what it's trying to say uh for sure that that i will say that's true to a degree but i mean in i want to say it was the third one because i just rewatched all four of them before i went to see this they have a straight up right like in your face um bash of donald trump where somebody you know yeah, it, no, actually, it's in the fourth one. I'm sorry, it's in the it's in the first purge, uh, where the guy's grabbing the girl by the pussy, and then she's like, "Pussy grabbing motherfucker." I mean, that's come on, no one, no one <laughs> didn't. There wasn't anyone that didn't know what that was in reference to. I mean, this this franchise is always worn. It's um, you know its influences and, and and its political stance on its slave. That that's just been this franchise forever so if you're not noticing you're just noticing that in this film come on anyway um i will say this is this is my least favorite of the franchise i didn't hate it i thought it was fine um there's a lot of characters and this happens in other films in this franchise but there are characters in this that are way too over the top there's a nazi skinhead inside a police vehicle and he's so over the top. he goes on this like uh rant about like guns and, and he can name every one of them by the sound and all this shit 
this this is like it's it reminds me of the candy bar girl in election year where it's just the person is trying way 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 too hard to be scary menacing you know nuts whatever and you're like rolling your eyes every five seconds like oh jesus christ can this person just die and shut up already the film takes like the franchise to be honest and this is something i don't like about the franchise a it's too tame b it just does not take enough risks it just does not take enough risks there is nowhere near enough shocking moments shocking deaths None of this stuff happens in this film, and it's very frustrating to me. Like, you can call all the deaths in this, and then even deaths you call, in addition, don't happen because the film won't even go to the lengths to kill the obvious people to kill. It'll be like, no, we're done. We're, we're going to be real nice, nice and light with this. These films are a little too hunky-dory for me. It's the purge. Like, these films should be seriously fucked up. And while there are things within the franchise that are fucked up, it's more like what's going on in the context of things that we learn about through different, you know, um, different sources of information. Like, the TV says something, or a character says something to somebody, or the character does something like you know, sells himself to a rich family so that he can give money to his to his family because he's dying anyway. Stuff like that was like really fucked up. But I don't know. It's not it's not in the film in context of the characters and what they're doing as much. It's it's more things that we're learning about things that happen within the purge within that universe, but aren't actually happening f like in front of us. That happens a good amount, which is fine. I just want to see more risk taken in these films. Multiple characters in this film should have died shockingly and in brutal ways. Like, that's the... And I get it. They're trying to go for a more mainstream audience. So they're trying to kind of give a little bit more optimism and hope and, and kind of fluffier endings. And they're also trying to not take too many risks with with killing off characters this is a mistake this is a mistake of the franchise the purge should be brutal and this franchise never is like there's really no super graphic gore you know no really overly intense memorable kills and that's a huge mistake with this franchise that's something this franchise has always needed and it's always lacked in so that's an issue there's character development moments that feel like they're just not fully realized and they're kind of cheap like we find out something about one of the main characters in this movie and it really amounts to nothing and you wonder why it's there other than to explain why they're able to do one thing and you're like okay, I think you're trying to add something to this character, but it doesn't really amount to anything. Like, yeah, we get it. She has a past. Yeah, it, that explains why she can do this. Kinda. But, I don't know. And then, and then in the end, as I said, it's very anticlimactic because nothing really happens. That's like, ooh, it hits you here. There's a character death in this that we're supposed to care about, but no one in the film really cares about it all that much. There's like a second of like, oh no, and that's it. And you move on, and then you're waiting for other stuff to happen, and it never does. And you're like, how was it? What? This night, this, it's not even the night. And that's, that's, I love the premise. The premise is good, and I do think it is the next logical conclusion of where this would head. That people are purging and then they're like, you know what, I don't want to stop. You know, I think that this country is fucked. I think it's going to hell. And I haven't purged enough. And there's this uprising where everyone's doing it. And so they continue. 
and 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 it becomes chaos. I like that idea. It was interesting to see people purging during the day. Um, the characters that we have in here are fine. Definitely everything you can see coming from a mile away. I guessed pretty much everything from beginning to end. I was like, okay, this character is like this, but they're not going to remain like this. This is how this is going to play. And everything's just very on the nose and a little heavy handed with kind of the racial tensions and what different countries mean to other people and how they conflict and contrast with one another and kind of the flip of how we see things versus how they could be or how they are and all that. Like, I get it. I got what they're going for. But I felt like they were trying so hard to kind of hit all of those you know, political stances and like have a message and have a point that they weren't as, you know, focused on making a good entertaining movie that had a lot of thrilling ups and downs that were unpredictable and that we got great character moments out of it so that in the end, whoever was left, we were like, wow, what a journey. They're so much different now. Like, I don't know. And then they contradict themselves. They say some stuff about Mexico, but then they kind of try to end on a note where they completely say the opposite. And you're like, what? And we talked, I mean, Kaylee and I talked about this on the way home. I said that and I was like, yeah, this is, that's a super contradictory message. Like, how can you say it's this, but then it's this? Like, pick one. You can't have it both ways. Like, so I feel like they even contradicted the whole point they were trying to make in the film within the film they contradicted themselves so i don't know it's it's fine it's an okay entry into the franchise i think that this would have worked much better had they not tried to hit so hard on the things they were going for in the commentary realm and they would have focused more on on characters and surprises and you know really going all in on this whole purge idea like the purge would be really fucked up like really 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 fucked up and i just don't feel like it's ever lived up to its potential and it sure as hell has never lived up to its horror potential these always feel more like action movies, right? These feel like a home invasion film in the first one. The next one is like a revenge tale where the guy becomes like a fucking, you know, savior, a superhero protector. The third one's more political. Uh, the fourth one is straight up like a diehard in the ghetto, you know, towards the end. And then this one, very much action centric as well. And while I'm fine with the people having guns and, and shooting one another in the purge, that's fine. That's cool. There is like a saw type trap in this, which was pretty cool and more of what I would have liked to have seen, but it doesn't go nearly far enough and, enough, you know, into more gruesome territory like we should see in this. Like we should see people hacking people up. We should see mass murder on an epic scale. Like, they invented a night where legal, literally everything is legal. People can fucking, you know, do whatever they want. And I just don't, I don't know. I still have yet to see that movie in this franchise that I feel like fully utilizes the carnage that you could bring to the table. But maybe they're afraid of an R rating or not appealing to the masses, but fuck them. There's a specific audience that's going to go to this shit anyways, and most other people are not going to see this as highbrow, so they're going to be like, <laughs> you know, stick their nose up at it and wave it away as, as trash. So you might as well just embrace your trashness and go for broke and stop being so fucking, like, safe with everything. Kill off some characters, you know? Ugh. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to get into spoilers, but there's definitely characters I would kill in this, and I would do it in such a way that the audience would, you know, some people would get up and walk out. That's the kind of fucking film this franchise needs. A shocking film that actually gets people upset enough to leave the theater. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Did you see this one? Are you a Purge franchise fan? Do you give a fuck about this one? Are you over it? Um... This is, yeah, this is this is my least favorite entry in the entire Purge franchise. 
uh, even over the first the two seasons of the show. In fact, I would put the second season of the Purge TV show as probably my second favorite thing in the Purge franchise. So my second, you know, some of those are, are quite a bit higher than even the film. So, but anyways, let me know if you saw it, what you thought, and tell me what you would want to see for a Purge film. I really like that Purge Island idea where you just can't run um the one cool thing that this movie does have going for it is that and i feel like they should have maybe focused on this a little bit more is that everyone comes out of their house because they're like purge is over we're all safe now and then chaos breaks out and no one's safe and i love that idea i think that's fantastic the forever purge is a great idea just you know, not executed the best way for me. But whatever. Let me know what you thought. Adios.